Hi everyone. Today is my birthday and I'm doing a birthday special video today. Today is a very very special birthday to me because YouTube channel शुरू करने के बाद आज मेरा first birthday है. So अच्छा वैसे एज तो आपको पता होगा ना सब लड़कियों की 16 ही होती है तो मैं 16 साल की हुई हूँ आज but still let's say for the sake of this video I am doing a 28 before 28 video so which is 28 things that I have learned before turning 28 so this is actually projector Kali's idea mostly sane I follow her and I love this idea when she did it on her birthday that she did a 25 before 25 video in the same manner I am doing a 28 before 28 video so let's get into the video. tuning into my channel for the first time, I am Ananta Khurana, I am a communication and soft skills trainer, a writer and a reader and I post motivational videos, self-help videos, communication soft skills related videos and book reviews on my channel. You can subscribe to my channel because from next Tuesday you'll start getting those videos but today is a birthday special video. So in today's video I'm sharing with you 28 things that I have learned before turning 28. So let's start. So the first thing, very important thing that I have learned before turning 28 is to let go. <laughs> there are a lot of things in life that will require us to just take it easy, to just, you know, forget about it and just let go. So just as important is our passion for life, is our passion for work, is our passion for everything that we are striving for. So in the same manner it is really important to have some dispassion towards it to have some dispassion towards things that are probably not working right now probably it's about the right time and the right moment and the right person probably so to let go a lot of things that is what i have learned in my life so the second point is to connect to nature i just love being uh, you know amongst the plants the trees the clouds the rain i just appreciate every moment of it when i am in there when i am in a garden probably or i'm just you know passing by a, a beautiful flower pot or i'm just you know uh, let's say aap kisi hill station mein gaye ho full of greenery so i just like to consume it all in take it all in and live every moment when i'm there you know amidst nature so to appreciate nature to connect with nature that is what i have learned the next thing is to connect to my own self that is so very important it is so important that every day you at least take out some time for yourself where you're connecting to your own self where you are you know probably looking deep into deep down into your own self you're you know uh, you you analyzing that what is happening inside of you how do you feel how do, your self talk all of it is so important <laughs> that's what i've learned and that's what i always do like every day then the next thing that i have learned is to make a lot of friends so good friends are limited ho sakte hain but aap friends bahut sare bana sakte hain so aap jisse bhi milte hain aap unse acche se baat kariye connect kariye uh, you know be available to them be available to people around you try to connect them connect with them more on a personal level as in you know I'm not saying that you infringe people's personal lives that's a big no-no but what I'm saying is that in the age of technology we are forgetting to have a personal connection with people you know this human and human connection so that's what I'm talking about so to connect to people to make friends that's what I have learned then the next thing is uh, to read extensively i read so much reading is such a fabulous thing to me when i read i just forget everything else around me and it enriches me so much as a person i feel that uh, you know all the reading that i've done till now in life it has enriched me so much i've been able to learn so many new things i've been able to uh, my wisdom has expanded so much with reading so reading I definitely recommend to everyone <laughs> and then the next thing would be to write I just love to write and writing comes really naturally to me 
and whenever I write, writing to me is actually an expression of my own soul. So when I write, it's, it takes me to a different world, it transports me entirely to a different world where I'm actually able to, you know, bring out certain things out of me to create something and to be able to create something is a fabulous feeling. Uh, you should really experience it sometime. <laughs> then... Uh, I have learned that it is okay to make mistakes. You know, making mistake means making mistakes mean that you're actually trying something. You're actually trying to do something. You are not sitting idle, and you know, you're not letting thing things happen to you. You're actually making life happen to you. So if you are making life happen to you, it's natural that you will make some mistakes on the way, and it is okay to make mistakes. So just you know, when you make a mistake, just move out of it and make things correct whatever way you can do it but uh, it would be really foolish to make the same mistakes again and again that is something that i try not to do but making mistakes is okay <laughs> the next thing would be to be grateful to be grateful for all the blessings all the abundance that i receive every day to be able to appreciate all the wonderful blessings that we have. Abhi ki bhi agar mein blessing gino to you know I am wearing good clothes. I I am mere saare body parts intact hai. Hame sab time se khana milta hai. Hamare saare kaam time se ho rahe hai. So you know what more can one ask for? There are so many blessings in life that we forget to appreciate and we always you know cling to those things which are not there in our life. So that's what I always do. I just try to appreciate what I have in life and you know be with that feeling that yes i have been given abundantly <laughs> so then okay so it's a very talky talky video it's actually a real talk video <laughs> so so i'm just sharing with you all the things that i have learned so it's not really a motivational video but uh, if you draw some motivation out of it amazing <laughs> then the next thing that the really uh, one really really important thing that i have learned is to appreciate people's presence in our life so many times we forget to appreciate uh, people who are around us who we are meeting every day especially our family our friends our really close friends we start taking them for granted many a times but uh, you know, if we realize that minus them, our life would be so blank, it would be so empty. All the achievements that we ever make in our life, it's only because the people who we share it with that it becomes worthwhile. So, you know, so never neglect people for anything in the world. Give them their proper time, give them their proper love that they deserve. So, to appreciate everyone's presence in my life, that's what I've learned. And then the next thing would be to be super positive. <laughs> Somehow it's a huge blessing to me. Uh, <laughs> I love the way I am so optimistic. It's, 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 it's like a part of my nature. That's how I am. That's how I've been built. And I'm really thankful to God for that. So being super positive helps me a lot to deal with situations. Uh, you know, in my everyday life, I can be... I am usually more happy because of my optimism and whenever challenges come in then my optimism actually helps me to come over those challenges, to face those challenges and to uh, stay positive when you know things are going all wrong. So staying positive is a huge huge blessing and it's something that we can do. We can always do. If we try a little, we can always be positive. And then uh, I have learned to take on challenges with all my grit and determination. I don't allow myself to be bogged down. Kabi-kabi aise moments aate hain jab aap kuch samay ke liye bogged down hote ho. But bouncing back is something that, you know, has become my forte over the years. So, so yeah, so I don't allow challenges to bog me down for a long time. Then, uh, to connect to people on an emotional and a spiritual level that's what i have learned so people what they appear on the surface there's always so much more than that so to be able to connect to the people you know on a more deeper level you know if you put aside technology for a while and actually start connecting with people there is so much to learn from them their life experiences and yeah <laughs> that's what i have learned so then I have learned to meditate every day. So so many of you sent me questions asking how can you positive, how can you be happy, how can you be happy, how can you smile. So I think meditation is my secret. So I meditate every day which 
uh, you know helps me stay amazing <laughs> then uh, to be confident always so whenever you meet me whatever i'm doing you'll always find me uh, in this confident mode of mind so uh, which is again somewhere it is a part of my nature as well that's how i've been built but somewhere i work on it i uh, remain confident because i choose to be like that and uh, confidence is a huge blessing to have in life because it makes things really easier for you especially on the work front or when you set out to do something so to be confident that's what i've learned so uh, next thing that i have learned is to always give a best to my work irrespective of the checks that are being put on it irrespective of what i'm expected to do uh, it's about being true to my own self so whatever i am doing i always give my 100% to it and i always make sure that you know to jitna mujhe aata hai jitne acche se main kar sakti hu utna acche se main karu और ऐसा मैंने आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग में सीखा है कि जब आप अपने 100% परसेंट पोटेंशियल पर चल रहे होते हो जब आप अपना 100% परसेंट किसी चीज़ को दे रहे होते हो तो आप इतना अच्छा करते हो कि आप दूसरे लोगों को इंस्पायर कर पाते हो और मुझे सच में ऐसे लगता है कि मैं ऐसा कर पा रही हूँ सो अगेन इट्स अ ब्लेसिंग एंड देन आई हैव लर्न टू नॉट पे मच अटेंशन टू नेगेटिविटी एंड नेगेटिव पीपल वेन एवर यू डू समथिंग गोड there are always going to be people who will not appreciate it however good you do something there is going to be people who will uh, still crap you so it's okay it's totally okay and uh, you know everybody is fighting their own battles that's how they are made it does not matter much so just go ahead and do your own thing and you know just stay positive and keep on doing the work that you're doing then next thing that i have learned is to appreciate the joy of traveling so whenever i travel i'm so full of life uh jab bhi main travel kar rahi hoti hu aap dekhoge ki main insta stories aur <laughs> ye sab itna nahi kar rahi hongi aur uh, main answer messages bhi bahut kam answer kar rahi hoti hu us samay pe kyunki main pura tarah se apne traveling mein immersed hoti hu to take in the place to connect to the place that i'm traveling to and uh, उस समय मैं अपना फ़ोन वोन बहुत कम यूज़ करती हूँ फ़ोटोज़ के लिए कुछ भले ही यूज़ किया बट मैं थोड़ा कनेक्शन ऑफ करती हूँ उस समय क्योंकि मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि आप जहाँ गए वो जस्ट टेक इन दैट प्लेस टेक इन द वाइब ऑफ दैट प्लेस टेक इन द ब्यूटी ऑफ दैट प्लेस बी इन दोज मोमेंट्स लिव इट फुली सो दैट यू नो यू क्रिएट गुड मेमोरीज फुल एडम देन आई हैव लर्न टू not be feverish about things and situations so there are many times when we get so anxious so anxious about things um things that we want things that are probably not happening or anything you know anxiety to hum kisi bhi cheez ko lekar lene lagte so i have learned to not be uh, very anxious about things not be very feverish about things because um अगर आपने नोटिस किया हो तो जितने भी चीज़ों के लिए हम एंशियस हो रहे होते हैं वो एक्चुअली में वैसे होती भी नहीं है यू नो मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द थिंग्स दे एक्चुअली हैपन डिफरेंटली सो वेन द फ्यूचर हैज समथिंग एल्स इन होल्ड फॉर यू देन वाई शुड वी फ्रेड थिंकिंग अबाउट इट सो दैट्स वट आई हैव लर्न देन आई हैव लर्न टू लिव इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट present moment is a blessing you know whenever we live in the past or whenever we live in the future we are killing the most amazing moment that we are in so living in the present moment is what i have learned and living in the present moment is actually a secret to stay happy as well because you know then you're not bogged down by what has happened in the past and you're not very anxious about what's going to happen in future so living in the present moment it's a huge blessing <laughs> then i have learned to appreciate and respect my guru and my parents in life so my guru my parents and my all teachers um because of them i am what i am so every day of my life i feel grateful to them uh, mama and papa if you're watching this video every day of my life i feel grateful for your presence so you know with the family members you don't really go up to them every day and tell them that i love you but i do <laughs> and i every day appreciate this fact that i am what i am because of you guys then um, 
I have learned to smile, smile, smile and smile. So again, somehow it's a blessing. Smile is very much a part of my nature and smile eases so many things in life. It keeps you positive, it keeps you going. So just keep on smiling, keep on smiling. Kabhi bhi mood baut kharaab bhi ho na, aapka aap try karna ke experiment ki aap na thoda sa zabardasti smile karne lagna. So after a while, aapki jo nakhli smile ho, asli smile mein convert ho jayegi. <laughs> so smile, smile, smile. Then I have learned to uh, have some vision and make plans. So uh, when you have some vision, you have a clear idea of where you're going. So if you were to read somewhere, it's very, very important to have some vision in life. Uh, I then I've learned to live fully in each and every moment of my life. Because, you know, life is this small journey that we are undertaking. So just be moments may just be journey ke just padav ko aapne enjoy nahi kiya wo beet jayega aur fir agla padav hoga to jo padav hai usko puri tarah se jeena that's how i feel that it should be <laughs> and then i have learned to pray every day to connect to this bigger power god energy jo bhi aap bulate ho jo bhi aap samajhte ho to connect to this bigger power to connect to this bigger source of energy every day that's what I do every day, at least once. Otherwise, I do it four, five, six times a day. So praying is very much a part of my life. Then I've learned to uh, not pay attention to people's comments or, uh, you know, whatever they are trying to do to bog you down. Because uh, if you pay attention to what people are thinking about you, you will always be their prisoner. But I don't like to be a prisoner. So... Uh, not that I've mastered it, but I'm working on it and I'm working on, you know, actually trying to tell myself that I don't have to care what people are thinking because anyway, if you do something good, if you do something better, if you do something best, if you do something worse, people are going to think something. So it's okay, you know. Then uh, <laughs> 28th and last point that I have learned is a very profound learning for my life and that is that no soulmate ever can fill up your loneliness. No soulmate ever can take away your loneliness. Your loneliness is something that you have to deal with your own. We deal on your own. And uh, your loneliness, how can you deal with it? You can deal with it by spirituality, by connecting to your own self, by working on your personality. That's how you deal with your loneliness. So if you ever feel lonely in life, don't think that some person can take away uh, your loneliness from you know you only have to do something about it and spiritual elevation can help connecting to you as a person can help investing your on yourself in your personality on yourself as a person on your qualities on your work that can help so if ever you feel lonely rather invest in yourself then you know try to see that i mean try to get feverish about who can fill my loneliness so that won't happen you can connect to any other person only when you feel full you feel happy so i feel great i feel full i feel i, I feel grateful and on this note i end these 28 points that i wanted to share with you 28 things that i have learned in my life so now i'm going to be off celebrating my birthday but it's a special special days for me i go crazy i go berserk on a birthday and that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna end this video and go berserk again so have a great time and always remember your greatness awaits your discovery go ahead <laughs>